Hey guys, West Coast Taco here, and welcome to the channel. This morning, I'm going to be going over a little tutorial on how to get your shift knob to snap back into the shift collar on your automatic transmission Toyota Tacoma. And the tricky part is, guys, is that the collar essentially snaps on and off very easily from this part of the shift knob. And it locks in here and it locks in here but when the shift collar becomes worn down because it's just plastic on plastic it doesn't sit properly and it won't hold on to the shift knob so if you have like an ajt designs blackout piece for your shift collar to black out that chrome piece if you've just took it off your shift knob a couple times and it doesn't go back on like it used to i'm going to give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to uh kind of fix that issue so all you really need is a can or you know cardboard essentially jar of plasti dip a water bottle cap and a toothpick just to kind of help with uh moving around the product if you get some clumped up so all i really do is guys <clears throat> is just dip in the front of the plastic piece like such in this corner to get it nice and thick and then what I'll do is let's use this toothpick to kind of clear out the excess and what this is doing is it's creating a, a harder lip for the shift collar to snap into. And the key is not just to get it on the front of the lip, but also behind as well, behind this portion. Because if you don't, what's gonna happen is that lip is just gonna push the plastic dip up and it's not gonna lock in and have anything to grab onto. And then I'm going to do the back as well. There we go. And the thing that's nice about plastic, guys, if you guys mess it up once it dries, it peels right off. It's not like this, this permanent stuff that you could never just remove if you didn't need it to be all on there or if you had issues with it. And I just lay paper towels down when I'm working so I can wipe off excess onto the towels. I don't have to worry about it. And the nice thing with the plastic dip, guys, is since it's more like a rubber and not a hard plastic, it's not going to wear down that shift collar anymore. And the shift collar will essentially just kind of like, you know, it'll snap on, but it will almost kind of mold into this. And that's it. So what you're gonna do now is, is let this dry, I'd say for about, <clears throat> I believe it says four hours on here, let's see. Yeah, so allow 30 minutes minimum between coats, if you need to apply more than one coat, and then allow four hours minimum dry before use. So I'm gonna let this dry for four hours and then I'm gonna put it back on and we'll see how it snaps in. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put this back on my shift column. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see, the plastic dip is on. 
the other portions that dried that I didn't need on there, I just peeled them off. It's really easy. And uh, let's see how this works. And if you guys have had similar problems and have been trying to figure out what to do and haven't found a solution, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section so that I know I'm not the only one dealing with this. Or if you have found another solution to this, throw it in as well because... Uh, I'd be curious to know what you did if this is not the same route you went. Okay. There we go. It's on. As you can see, not going anywhere. Very simple, very easy fix. All it took was a little bit of plastic dip. <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments section. I'll be happy to help you guys. But um, as you could kind of see, this was a very, very simple adjustment. And the great thing about plastic dip, like I mentioned before, guys, is is that it's not this permanent thing that you can mess up really if you don't if you don't apply it right the first time when you make a mistake it peels right off when it dries so it's very forgiving but outside of that guys this is just a quick video today like i said i've mentioned this before in a couple other videos on what i did so i figured it'd be only fair for me to give you an actual rundown and um a legitimate video of a how-to on how to do this so once again, guys, any questions, comments, if you had something similar and come up with a better solution, throw it in the comments section. I'd be curious to know. Talk to you guys soon. See ya.